this might be my favorite press avail of the whole year, right? I mean, normally we're in here talking about much different uh, topics. But uh, again, what a great time to be a, a Colorado Avalanche fan, uh, not only for our team, the city's team, but uh, also uh, the people of Colorado. And, uh, you know, we're, we're so close. Uh, this is exciting. What we are here today to talk about is how to celebrate responsibly and uh, some important lessons that we want to communicate to our uh, fellow Avs fans and uh, that is to stay out of the penalty box, right? We can do this. We've been here before. We've won the cup before. We've won uh, championships uh, before and uh, the best way to do that is to stay classy and, uh, and show uh, our support for our team and do it in a responsible way. Uh, we are uh, very much looking forward to celebrating together. We've done that already uh, with these uh, past uh, games, three wins, one loss. Uh, we're, uh, we've had thousands of people downtown and they've uh, uh, really uh, shown uh, the right way to celebrate and we just want to encourage that as uh, the Avs work to bring home the cup. Um, you know, really, uh, some of the reminders are that uh, we don't want to overconsume, uh, whether that's uh, alcohol uh, and or legal marijuana. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, folks are uh, getting to and from safely. Uh, in today's day and age, you certainly can do that with ride share, designated rides, public transportation. But uh, one key aspect to celebrating responsible is to make sure that uh, we're not uh, driving uh, impaired. So uh, let's all make sure that we have a plan to address uh, this. Uh, again, uh, we are very much uh, looking forward to uh, tomorrow's uh, game, uh, but we remind folks uh, not only to celebrate responsibly, but to celebrate in a lawful manner. We have been here before. Let's show folks uh, that we know how to, how to do this. Um, you know, large gatherings, we are always reminded that uh, uh, we see something suspicious, that uh, we say something. Uh, again, uh, safety in all aspects uh, of these uh, gatherings is something that we cannot lose sight of. So we want to encourage folks uh, to, uh, if they see something that just doesn't look right, to let us know. Um, along those lines, the Denver Police Department with our local, state, and federal partners We'll have lots of resources in order to ensure safety uh, for Friday night's game in, uh, throughout uh, the, the Denver um, area, and uh, we can only do that in partnership with our uh, local, state, and uh, federal law enforcement, our fire uh, department, and other emergency services. So, looking forward uh, to that. Um, we uh, have partnered with the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, there's some uh, local officials, uh, the governor uh, as well, that are, re uh, are reminding folks, encouraging folks to celebrate uh, responsibly. And uh, I believe uh, we've been able to send you all a copy of uh, the link. We would uh, ask that folks uh, share that. The Colorado Avalanche will be sharing these clips reminding folks about celebrating responsibly at their watch parties, and we're very thankful uh, for that as well. Um, with that, uh, you know, without rehashing uh, all of the, the points uh, on this, uh, let's act like we've been here before because we have. Uh, let's make sure that. Uh, uh, we uh, show people how it's done here in Denver and uh, celebrate responsibly. We'll open it up for questions for folks. So um, when we last won in 2016, um, what did DPD get right? Well, first, can you describe what it was like the celebrations after the Broncos won? And so what did DPD get right in, in that year in responding to the celebrations and dealing with them? And what did DPD get wrong, maybe? And those, there's some lessons learned in that. Uh, excellent question. Uh, you know, we always uh, take a look at, at uh, responses and if there are uh, lessons learned, how we, how we can improve. Uh, it was just a few years ago that we were celebrating a Broncos win, Super Bowl 50, and I think that uh, the fans, the fans of Denver, the fans of Colorado showed exactly what it meant to be a uh, Bronco fan, a responsible Bronco fan. 
and uh, we, we can do it. We've demonstrated that we can do it. This is a proactive message to our community that uh, we can do this uh, responsibly. We could do it safely. We can stay out of the penalty box. We can show the, uh, the country that we know how to celebrate, and that's what we're asking for here. So uh, great point, um, but I also want to give credit to the Colorado Avalanche bands. We've uh, had four games, three wins. Uh, we've had a, a great season already, and the fans of Colorado have, have demonstrated uh, that they know how to do this the right way, and we want to continue down that path. Any lessons learned from the Broncos celebration and uh, today's response? Well, uh, again, uh, doing this together is the lesson learned. Doing it uh, as a community, that this is a, a community response, and I think that um, Super Bowl 50 just a couple uh, years ago, uh, we were, uh, you know, very visible. We, we went through uh, a large event with the MLB All-Star Game, and uh, this shows what uh, fans coming together, doing it the right way, how we can uh, make sure uh, that, that there's safety across uh, the metro area. Safety for the individual who's not over-consuming uh, and, and driving impaired and causing harm uh, to folks as well as uh, safety for our community. So uh, um, with your help, with, uh, with Colorado Avalanche fans help, I'm confident that uh, we can do the same. Chief, the, the last two times, the first two times that the Avs won uh, the Cup, it, it did not go very well here in 96 and 01. Um, can you tell us what you remember about those nights and are you, con are you concerned that that could happen? Well, uh, I believe in the fans of the Colorado Avalanche that uh, together we're going to make sure that, that this is a safe environment uh, for all, that we can celebrate responsibly, that we can have fun, that we can do it in a lawful manner, uh, and that uh, we want everybody to stay out of the penalty box. And, and we're excited uh, to, to, to work in partnership with uh, our, our local fans, as uh, with the Colorado Avalanche uh, to, that, that have demonstrated that uh, the same thing. They want uh, our fans to, to celebrate responsibly. So uh, we certainly uh, re remember uh, you know, past events and uh, we will continue to work to try to uh, ensure the, the safety of, of our community as we uh, bring home the cup. And then uh, another one. Um, so in the last few years, since the Broncos last one, since the Avalanche won their first two, the, the rules of engagement for your department, have, so to speak, have changed in terms of the way you respond to protesters, in terms of uh, less than lethal, less than lethal uh, weapons that you can use. Do you think that will in any way um, affect your response, or is it, um, are you confident that your officers are aware of these changes? Uh, I'm very confident uh, in our team, our, our uh, local, state, and federal partners uh, we've worked. Uh, very hard to uh, make sure that we do things in the safest manner uh, possible. Additional training uh, has taken place as well. I think that uh, most recently with the All-Star Game that uh, we as, as Coloradans can all come together and show that we can host uh, a world stage in, in a very positive way. So I'm confident that uh, the people of Colorado, uh, that our fans will act uh, responsibly responsibly and lawfully, and uh, we're gonna have a good time. And that your, and that your officers on the scene know what they can do and what they can't do? Yes. And then, sorry, um, have, have, have you can't believe um, for tomorrow? Uh, well, you know, we don't really uh, get into our, our staffing plans uh, for obvious reasons here, but uh, we will have uh, plenty of resources. We will, uh, again, lean on our partners. They've been uh, great uh, to help us. Uh, this is a monumental lift, right? You're talking about uh, 40,000 additional fans, uh, you know, folks, uh, 20,000 at the Pepsi Center, uh, the watch parties at uh, Tivoli and uh, McGregor Square. So there'll be a lot of folks. Um, actually, uh, along those lines, right, we want, also want to remind uh, folks that uh, there may be limited access to downtown afterwards. Our focus, similar to, let's say, a Bronco game, is egress, getting traffic out of uh, the area. And so uh, similarly, we may have uh, limited access in. We will obviously uh, allow for residents uh, coming back, but uh, there may be limited access at the end of uh, a possible uh, victory as far as, uh, and, and the purpose being to help uh, the egress of these tens of thousands of, of folks getting out. Very similar to 
our traffic plan for a Broncos game. So thanks for bringing up that point. Chief, is it, is it fair to say that there's going to be increased patrol around downtown Denver, additional officers? Can you say how many? Uh, so it, it's fair to say that there will be a uh, significant amount of uh, uh, emergency responders. So this is not just uh, the police department, but uh, our uh, local, uh, state, and federal partners, as well as our uh, entire public safety team. So this is a, a, a collaboration necessary, but uh, you will see increased numbers of emergency responders in the downtown area working together to try to uh, keep the safety here in our city. Um, sorry about that. Go ahead. Um, I can imagine that there's got to be some security measures around making sure that the pedestrian paths and, and making sure that bad actors wouldn't be able to use a car to get to a place that they're not supposed to. I can imagine that might affect traffic patterns. What should we know about those? Uh, excellent point. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, pedestrians and vehicles are not a good mix uh, for, for the pedestrian. So uh, part of our traffic safety plan is to try to uh, keep our entire community safe. And, and so, uh, as indicated, there may be uh, limited access as we work to get uh, thousands of, of, of vehicles out of uh, downtown uh, at the end of uh, a game. So uh, we just ask for patience uh, from our community and some understanding that they know that uh, there may be limited access and that it's done for a, a good reason, both uh, safety of our community, our pedestrians, as well as uh, a focus on the egress, getting uh, folks uh, out uh, who want to get home after uh, a game. And then for people that want to celebrate in Denver safely, but um, I'm imagining you've seen the headlines, I've seen the headlines, I've seen the criticism from different political parties. I mean, what would you tell them about, you know, feeling safe celebrating in Denver versus, you know, some of the things they've probably heard? Uh, well, uh, you know, a, a few things. Um, you know, we're going to be working tirelessly in a collective uh, a, approach with local, state, federal partners uh, to make sure that we're doing everything possible to keep our community safe, to give folks the opportunity to celebrate responsibly and to celebrate lawfully. And uh, that's what we're encouraging, and uh, we're stepping up uh, our efforts, uh, dedicating a lot of resources uh, in order to, to do that. So. Uh, we're excited about this. Uh, we're very excited about it. Uh, this is uh, 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 an opportunity that's uh, you know been uh, too many years in the making. It's been uh, too long uh, since uh, the Avs brought the cup home. Um, but uh, I'm excited for this opportunity that uh, we in Denver, we in Colorado, can show folks how to do it. Uh, we've done it before. We've done it recently with uh, Super Bowl 50 and uh, we're gonna do everything possible to replicate uh, that type of success. Yes. I, I was also gonna ask a question about 96 and 2001. And I, I'm just curious if you were on duty on either of those nights, you may have just started in 95, so if you were on duty, do you have any recollection specifically of, of the celebration that was with you for those years? Uh, well, uh, so are you saying that I'm old? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I Okay, if, if we're old together because I certainly uh, feel old. Uh, you know, really uh, the bottom line is we consider ourselves a learning organization. You have to review each of these incidents. You have to review incidences that take place outside your city, outside your state, and, and how we can uh, do the best job possible in, as far as keeping our community safe. And uh, to, the ver to the earlier questions, we've done uh, additional training uh, on this. Uh, we've been planning uh, for this, and uh, we will do everything possible to, uh, to help our community celebrate, hopefully, uh, a Colorado Avalanche win on, on Friday night to bring that cup uh, home where it belongs. Uh, what we're asking the community to do is uh, celebrate responsibly and lawfully, and there won't be any problems. So, uh, please help us uh, get out the word. Uh, the Avalanche have uh, indicated uh, this is uh, how they want to uh, celebrate uh, this uh, type of, uh, of, of celebration or this type of championship. And uh, we're excited that uh, we get to partner with them to, to help us uh, keep the community safe. Thanks, but, but did you work either of those? Uh, I've, I've been around 
<laughs> he, I just hear you okay. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm yes. Getting, I'm just wondering if you have memory. Yes. Like your, own, your own memory does those matter. Uh, I'm, uh, yes, I do. Here, can you? Can you? <laughs> I, I did not think that was a tough question. You didn't think that was a tough question? Uh, I th well, I think that we've, uh, that we've answered it. We've all, are, we've, the two of us have been around uh, a long time, and uh, I'm confident in the planning that our team has done. I'm confident in the team that's been put together with uh, local, state, and federal partners. And uh, I'm excited uh, that, that uh, we get to celebrate uh, together. And uh, we're just reminding folks to do it in a responsible and lawful manner so that way they can keep themselves safe and uh, they can show the rest of the world that uh, Denver can stay classy. Chief, would you like to make a prediction for the game tomorrow night? Uh, we just want to win, no matter what. We just want a Colorado Avalanche win. It'd be great for our city, it'll be great for the entire state. Are you predicting one? Uh, we're hopeful, we're very hopeful. <laughs> so Superstitions, right? Aren't there a bunch of superstitions in, in hockey? Um, so this might sound a little silly, but I've seen other cities do it. Uh, have you thought about greasing up the light poles throughout Denver so people <laughs> don't climb up them? Uh, you, you know, we have uh, paid attention to what plenty of uh, other cities have, have done as well, so with, without giving away any specific uh, tactics. Um, th th this is actually uh, the help that we're asking you, right? Uh, if we can remind our community to stay classy. I mean, uh, act like we've been here before, because we have. This hopefully will be the third Stanley Cup, and, uh, you know, we, we can show the fact that these are uh, championship fans that we don't need to uh, do silly things that we can act in a reasonable uh, responsible and lawful manner and that's what I'm uh, excited about and I think the people of Colorado will show that uh, with the uh, future avalanche win. I know that there's been some issues with uh, with vacancies is that impacting the game plan at all for situations like this where you know you're going to need a lot of officers on the street? Um, you know, uh, staffing is a, is a challenge for law enforcement agencies across uh, the country. We're no different uh, in that particular uh, area, but uh, this is where leaning on the partners, uh, figuring out different staffing plans in order to maximize and ensure that we have enough coverage. And I'm very confident uh, in the plan. Uh, we do have enough resources uh, to address this. Is this going to result in additional overtime for the department's budget? Uh, yes. How much? That's uh, yet to be determined. Okay. How, when will you know that? Uh, at the conclusion uh, of, of uh, the Stanley Cup. Because uh, obviously um, there uh, may be additional games right. if uh, the Avalanche don't win on, on Friday night. Does, it, does all this become moot if the uh, Lightning win in seven? <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in the universe. Are you kidding me? Maybe it's a reverse jinx. <laughs> well, again, there's uh, there, there's uh, too many superstitions uh, in hockey, and I'm not. Uh, yeah, we, we don't even want to say that out loud. So so take it back. Uh, roll that one back. Great. Uh, thank you all so much uh, uh, for your help in this. Uh, again. Uh, the people of Denver, the people of Colorado know how to do this. They know how to do this right. They've demonstrated uh, that. Uh, we want to make sure that, uh, that, that folks stay out of the penalty box, that they uh, celebrate responsibly and lawfully, and uh, really uh, cheer on our Colorado Avalanche as they bring the cup back to Denver where it belongs.